It's Monday, July 18th, and um, I have the craziest busy week this week, and I'm kind of like, I don't even know. I just, I think I just need to dive in. Um, I didn't get done what I needed to do this week, and I kind of just spaced out. I should have grocery shopped. I should have put all the laundry away. At least it got folded. Mike folded it last night for me, so that was nice. But I didn't get it put away. So, um, ooh, sun's bright here. So I uh, just dropped Holden off at a basketball camp, and this is the first time he's been to this basketball camp, and it's this huge, amazing building that was made for the Pan Am Games that was here last year. And so we walk in, and it is really intimidating, and there's at least 100 kids, and uh, he got hit in the face with a ball, and I'm standing there thinking, like, I wanna be here for him, but I've got so many deadlines, so I just stayed for a while. So he's there, he, he ended up okay, um, I think. So we'll see how that goes. And I have got a crazy number of deadlines at the beginning of this week. Mike's birthday is Wednesday. And so he's taking the day off, so I've kind of not booked anything, and I'm gonna try to spend that day with him. We might be going to Toronto on Wednesday night. Okay, so it's now, what time is it now? It's almost, it's just after two. I've got two of my, I've got two of my seven deadlines done today. I feel rough. I don't feel great. I just feel kind of crappy. I actually just don't feel well. It's a combination of not getting enough sleep last night. I went to sleep, I think close to 12 and I am, I need my sleep. I'm not one of those people that ever stays up editing or, or working until 2 a.m. I'm in bed by 10 and I'm asleep by 10.30, um, ideally. And that's what I do most nights. I'm pretty good about it, but I don't know. I just was, I don't know what I was doing last night. And then, um, and then I was really stressed about something. It's just some work thing and a deadline for no reason. It's fine. Um, but whenever, I don't know if you guys do this. Let me know if you do this, but I... Whenever I get stressed, I hold it all in my shoulders. And it's the worst because often when I'm stressed, I have a really busy day ahead of me. And that's when um, I hold it in my shoulders and I cause myself to have headaches and migraines. And, and then I almost have to cut my day short or not be as productive because I've been so stressed. And then I, I have to throw the towel in because I don't feel well. Mike's gonna come home a little early today so that I can run out to the store with the kids and um, have them they each have an idea for Mike's birthday presents. And it's such a great idea. And this is the first year that they've actually had an idea and been very clear that they wanna get this for dining. They're actually really good ideas. So um, I have, I forgot to take them out on the weekend. I forgot to do everything on the weekend. I don't know what I was doing. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, I'm gonna go out with the kids later. We're gonna go get those gifts, and then I've gotta grab some groceries. What am I getting Mike for his birthday? Probably nothing. We, t <laughs> we tend to do bigger things, like we'll get, um, we'll do big projects around the house, or we'll get big things around the house throughout the year, and kinda consider that each other's birthday gifts. We'll get each other little things. I should get out shopping at some point. I'm hoping the day he's off on Wednesday, we'll go shopping for him and he can kind of pick something up for himself, but I'm not too stressed about it. I think it's more about the memories and, and us spending time together and us spending time together as a family. So I have a few ideas up my sleeve. Anyways, um, I'm pushing myself to sit back down on my computer and get more work done because I really need to get, just hack away a bit more at some of these deadlines this week so that everything gets done and I can do everything I have to do this week, so. That's where I stand. Hopefully I feel better. I'm getting to bed early tonight. It's Tuesday, July 19th, and my first day... Let's go. Are you ever going to I'm telling you. What's the lunch? It's a surprise. My first day of our crazy week is over. I survived it. The house is a mess. I apparently need to come back to you. Girls love their trucks, right? What are you playing? Your hair's a mess. We need to get ready. It is Hi, Everly. <laughs> Everly, so last night, 
Everly fell out of her crib, right? Can I see your nose? Can I see. Your I nose. see. You see? So she's I got a nose. scratch on her nose and a little scratch on her forehead. So she, I was out with the big kids, um, grocery shopping, and then I get this frantic call from Mike. Apparently she, he was like in a different room and he heard a huge thud and Everly was out of her crib and crying. And so um, I, they're not ready for big girl beds. I always wait till they're about three to switch them. We've never had a kid get out of their crib before. I'm not really shocked. She's so tall and they jump, they get each other going. Like I think it's because they share a room. They kind of egg each other on and they get each other going and they jump in their cribs. She's listening to me. And um, they jump so high holding onto the side of the crib and jumping in it like a trampoline that I can hear thudding. Like it, it lifts off the ground. So I'm assuming she just hopped too high and kind of like caught her leg and fell over. So I think she landed on the carpet and that's where that red burn is. So Mike was really, really, really worried about her all last night. He put a video camera in there. We checked on her a lot. He talked to her. We both said like, this is dangerous. Hopefully she knows now and she won't do it again, right? Everly, no more jumping, right? Did Everly fall? Yeah. yeah. You fell? Yeah. So we'll see. But I've never gone through this before. Is this a classroom? Wow. Is it a school? Are you guys at school? No, 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 this is, no, this is our, this is our ship. I dropped the twins off, and it's your turn. We dropped Bo off first at her camp. Then the twins at daycare, and now it's Holden's turn for basketball camp. You think you'll have a better day today, Holden? Yeah. You are a little nervous yesterday, right? Yeah. But we're good. I'm home now and um, really need to tidy up. I feel like I'm saying this all the time. Maybe I need to stop saying, oh, my house is messy. I need to tidy up. And you guys just get that this is real life. And I spent a lot of my time tidying up. So I, you might have noticed that the last couple weeks and this week, um, and probably next week too, my videos are a little light. I've only had about one video a week. But this is a good thing because um, I'm going to talk about it more in length soon on a video. I've kind of moved things around and I'm positioning myself so I can focus more on YouTube. I feel like with Nesting Story, um, I've focused in a lot of different places and I've spread myself out so far that I don't feel like anywhere is getting enough of my attention. And um, after kind of some soul searching and things and and stuff like that, I'm just going to put more energy into YouTube. So right now, um, the, the videos are light, but that is because I am wrapping up projects and getting some other stuff done, and we're even getting better equipment to use um, for the videos. So um, that's really exciting. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, what do you film on? And despite how much it, my, it drives Mike crazy because we do have some other equipment. 99% of the time I'm on my iPhone. We're about to change that. We're, pro we're trying to get our hands on a proper vlogging camera. It's just really hard. They're, they're back ordered and then there's been shipping issues and things like that. They're hard to get your hands on, but we are working on that. Um, 
Yeah, so you're going to soon, I would say within the next couple weeks, start seeing a lot more videos, a lot more regularity, and um, just things done more polished and more focused put into video and YouTube and telling our story on that platform. I'll still be in, I'll still be blogging and I'll still be in other places, but um, I'm going to be focusing more in an area and this is that area. So it's really exciting. I'm working, I've been working all day. I actually did though go and get my nails done. So that's something. Okay, it's Mike's birthday, but Mike's not here right now. He is taking Mia. What do you say, Neverly? He's bikes, not right now, sweetie. We gotta go to school. He's taking Mia to an allergist appointment in Toronto. I'm dropping off the other kids. Everly seems a little out of sorts because Mia's gone. And then we are spending the day together um, doing a whole bunch of things. So this is how we're starting our day. Okay, just finished my million drop-offs. I have like <laughs> I have the craziest week of drop-offs this week. I, I, I start with Bo. She goes to a camp. Then I drive and drop the twins off at daycare. Mike had Mia in Toronto. He's still there with her today for the appointment. So that that's the second drop-off is the daycare. Then I drive all the way over to kind of the country area of our town. And um, that's where I drop holding off for basketball camp. So it's pretty – I've got it down to a fine science, but it's a lot. Like I'm – tired and I think it's like not even 9 a.m. So um, I was up at 5.30 today just kind of getting the ball rolling. Kids gave Mike his gifts at 6.30 because um, we're so busy. Anyways, I'm going to go and quickly run into the store to get something for an event we're going to tonight. And then um, I need to buy wine, but I'm pretty sure wine stores aren't open at 9 a.m. on weekdays. Um, I don't think so. I think they'd look at me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but let's go see. I put my hot rollers in this morning because I wanted my curl to kind of like just go into some waves. And I'm thinking I'm going to do braids tonight. I'm, I wasn't going to, but I'm starting to think I'm in a braid mood. So I'm going to see. Anyways, time to get stuff at the store. <laughs> home right now and we've got everything ready to go out. We're heading to Toronto soon. <laughs> I've got someone looking at me. I'm really doing some coloring for some treats at dinner. What are you doing? Are you doing puzzles? A hike. Is that a house? Yeah. Where are all the animals? Oh. Is that a horsey? Yeah. And the horsey says, Wee. Wee. All right, so we're driving into Toronto now. We've got the kids all organized at home. Babysitter's there. We're off to an event um, that has to do with YouTube, so that's exciting. I wanted to talk about Everly falling out of her crib or jumping out of her crib or whatever it was that happened, but I wasn't there. So, I thought this is a perfect opportunity for Mike to tell the story of Everly escaping. So Mike, what happened? <laughs> so I had the babies and I was putting them to bed. I not only hear a thud or a bang, but I felt the thud, like the floor of the second floor of our house shook and instantly knew that that was somebody's head hitting the floor. I went into their room to, to find out what had happened and Everly was on the carpet, out of her crib, standing there crying with a bruised nose and carpet burn right on her forehead. So, anyway. What was Mia one, doing? What was Mia doing? Uh, Mia's just standing in the crib and she's like, oh. <laughs> pointing to Everly and then pointing to her crib like, this this is wrong. This is not what should be happening right now. <laughs> oh man. Um, but you know they're talking a little bit, but they're not talking too much. So I'm trying to get out of them what happened and understand what happened. And, and uh, you know Mia was able to tell me where she fell, but that's it. But uh, yeah, so you know one of the scariest things is I don't know how hurt she is. I don't know what she fell on her head, her shoulder, her arm, her feet. If she hit something on the way down. So I'm stripping her down and I'm checking her out, making sure she's 
you know, she, she can bend her arms and bend her legs and everything's good. And other than her nose and her forehead, she seemed to be okay, so. What, what have we done to make it safer for them? Nothing, I hope she learned her lesson. <laughs> no, we talked to them, you put a video camera in there and we're keeping an eye on it, basically. Yeah. She, she didn't even try anything last night. I think that scared her, because I don't think she got into there on purpose. I think that she was playing or jumping and I don't think the crib's unsafe. I just think that we just need to keep a closer eye with the video camera and really tell her. And if we think that that's gonna happen again, I think we might have to move them to big beds, but they're not ready for those yet, so. Nope. Take it from there. Wow, oh, crazy. So that's never happened with any of our kids before. Yeah, of course, it happens to be with the last one, yeah. the youngest. The youngest, yeah. Rascal. I've heard of stories of this happening and uh, never thought it would happen to us. But I'm not too concerned it's going to happen again. She is not, I, I would consider a couple of our children rascals, but I wouldn't consider Everly a rascal. Like, um, a thrill seeker she's actually a pretty she and Holden I would say are more calculated and I honestly think she was just shocked when she got out of her crib so I don't think she's gonna try it again let's hope home now we had an awesome time in Toronto that was really fun met some great people can't wait to tell you kind of more about what's going on with the vlog and everything like that anyways we had a great time Mike is now officially 33 I'm not alone being 33 and that's I'm just checking on the status of your new camera <laughs> oh yeah we're getting an exciting new vlogging camera a g7x mark ii That's right. so it should be coming tomorrow i can't wait to try it out the, the vlog will just get better anyways that's it i'll see you guys next week bye guys <laughs>